What's going on, portionistas? It is week five of our weight loss challenge, and this week we're gonna talk about the portionista plate and how size matters. So first of all, what should you be eating? The easiest thing to do is use your hand as a reference. First of all, the palm of your hand. You're going to eat protein, 75% protein, and it should take up about the size of the palm of your hand. So you can kind of think of like a chicken thigh um, fitting in that palm of your hand. The second thing is vegetable. So vegetable should be like a heaping pile that kind of fits over your four fingers, right? This area here. And then last should be your carb. Um, and that really should be a small amount, um, just kind of the size of like your thumb um, in your loose fist. Um, these complex, car complex carbs, if possible, should be last. And uh, think of, you know, like a small pile of homemade baked fries or um, one quarter of a sweet potato, for example. How much should you eat? So again, use your hand as a reference. So we have our hand here and we're thinking of just a loose, uh, a loose fist, a little pile of food there. You want to use a small plate because your mind can play tricks on you, right? So if your plate is filled up and it's a small plate, it's going to make you feel like you're eating, you know, more than enough food. Again, aim to eat a loose hand of food made up of the macros that are pictured here, 75% protein, 20% vegetable, 5% carb. Uh, don't drink during your meal and chew slowly. And uh, also don't drink 30 minutes after. It's all right if you still feel hungry at the end of the meal. Give your body a chance to catch up. So this week, I want you to look at your hand when you make your plate and follow these guidelines. How often should you be eating? So if you're eating smaller portions and you're getting your body used to eating smaller portions, you're gonna be hungry more often. So you wanna eat two to three hours, every two to three hours, about six meals a day. So you're gonna eat small meals made up of the 75, 20, and 5% rules. You're gonna drink plenty of water in between, but not during or 30 minutes after. And you want to, most importantly, meal prep to prepare because success in a six meal a day program uh, is all about the availability of food. So really think about, you know, maybe the night before, put your food in little containers and, um, you know, prepare to have uh, these macros available to you six meals a day. And then you're not going to be so tempted to snack on things or, or do things outside of, of your diet. So a recap, we're gonna eat 75% palm of protein, 20% fingers of vegetables, and 5% last thumb of carbs. And you're going to eat a loose fist of food at a time, and you're gonna eat every two to three hours. And you want to make sure you're meal prepping for success this week. Our fitness challenge, as you know, we do compound body weight movements every week. This week we're doing planks and lunges. So on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, we're gonna do 100 planks. On Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday, we're gonna do 100 lunges. Let's look at those. Plank holds, they work your abs, your shoulders, your core, your glutes, your quads, your hamstrings, pretty much everything. So level one here, you can see she's on her knees. She has a nice straight line from her knees all the way up to her shoulders. She's resting on her elbows here um, and she's just holding. So you're gonna wanna try to hold for 30 seconds. Level two, you are completely up on your feet and you know off your knees and you have a nice straight line in your body and you're going to hold. Squeeze everything throughout here. Level three, you can try different variations of this. So you might wanna you know, pick up a, a leg, point your toe, uh, or you can try holding for a full minute. So that would be great for level three. So 30 seconds for these two and uh, a full minute for level three and possibly add like, you know, uh, one leg at a time, that kind of thing, a toe point lunges. So here we're going to use Jay Cardiello's uh, lunge, beginner, intermediate, and advanced. Uh, he's from Shape Magazine. Um, and the lunge works, the glutes, the quads, the hamstrings, and the calves. It's a great exercise. Uh, so you're going to start with your basic lunge if you're a beginner. And you're just going to make sure your feet are hip width apart, hands on your hips, and just take a nice big step forward with your right foot. Bend your knees until the right thigh and left shin are parallel to the floor so you see that her knee is right above her toe. And um, 
Make sure that your back foot is also straight. I'll see a lot of people, they'll kind of like point it to the side and that can, you know, you don't want to twist an ankle. So make sure that you're keeping both of your feet pointed forward. And, um, and, and you know, this shouldn't be an uncomfortable position. So you want to keep your knee right above your, your toe there and, um, and just, you know, hold. And then come back up to standing uh, nice and easy and then go back down on the other leg going forward. Um, so really the lunges, that counts as one, one per leg, right? So your left leg, then your right leg is one and we're working for a hundred. So 50 on each leg every day. Um, then the, the intermediate version is a lunge to hamstring curl. So you're going to do the basic lunge, but you're going to come up and then curl your hamstring. Notice how her toe is not pointed, but uh, her foot is flexed because that's giving her glute that extra flexion. And then the advance is the lunge kick. So you're going to again do the basic lunge, but then when you come up, you're going to kick your foot forward. Um, and what that's doing is working your quadricep here and you're also not going to be pointing your toe again. You're going to keep it just like this. Um, so this week we're working on 100 reps of the lunges and 100 reps of the planks. Uh, throughout the day, fit them in when you can. And planks are Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. And lunges are Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. And just to recap of this week, you're going to eat small meals six times a day. They're going to be made up of 75% protein, 20% veg, and 5% carb. And you're going to keep following all the previous rules we've covered. If you need a recap of those, go ahead and go to portionista.com, weight loss challenge, and you're going to see all the previous week's videos and information. All right. Thanks so much.